Good morning, good life. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life you want. I wanted to pop down for a minute and just have a little chat, give some recos for you, because I feel like the internet is a little bit of a deep place right now. Many of us are staying home as is advised to stay safe. And so ultimately what ends up happening is we are on devices a lot. We're watching a lot of YouTube videos. We're watching a lot of Netflix. We're watching a lot of our phones. And that can be a good thing if you're choosing the right content. And that can be a difficult thing if you're tuning in for more difficult conversations. I think it's great to educate yourself on important conversations, but to also balance it out with a little bit of the flip side, to be able to go to people who you can trust, to kind of keep you even keel and make you feel a little bit better. If you like positive content on YouTube and you like to see more of it, then like this video. It helps me out a lot to make sure that I get more of my message out to you more often and you're more likely to see more positive stuff on YouTube in general. So definitely do that. Starting with pickup limes. If you have not heard of pickup limes, I hope you're not hungry right now because <laughs> it is fabulous for your tummy. There are so many amazing recipes. Like if you want to go down like the cooking and um, experimenting with different types of eating, like vegan, going down that rabbit hole, this is an amazing place for that. But I personally go there because I feel better learning about food and seeing how they prepare it and watching the cinematography of this channel. It ultimately, I, every time I leave feeling so much better. They also make everything really accessible there with their downloadable worksheets. And it's just overall like a fun time learning about food and different ways to make something yummy at your house. This is where I go if I want a little bit of education, but I don't want to be thinking super hard and I just want to feel really light and good when I'm done watching a video. I love watching pickup limes. Next up is Michelle B. I feel like she is my sister from the Gold Coast Mister. I absolutely love watching Michelle's channel. I feel like we align in a lot of our advice and our productivity tips, and she just does everything in such an accessible and beautiful way. I would recommend every one of her videos for anyone that watches Amy TV. She's such a delight, so fun to watch. I feel inspired whenever I see her. I feel like I get tips from her all the time. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely a good one to check out. Plus her accent. I, you'll notice that I definitely get into the channels with an accent that is not American. I don't know what it is. It's people in other countries. I feel like I'm watching them. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling inspired. And I'm also living vicariously through them in another country. Next up is Jamie Genevieve. If you're familiar with the beauty world, you would probably see Jamie typically on a list of some of the best makeup artist work on YouTube. She is incredible at what she does and she's such a good teacher. But she's on my list because whether I'm trying to pick up new makeup tips or not, which I always am by the way, <laughs> obviously, I love watching her talk about it because she makes me feel so much better. She makes me feel less stupid about it. And she always seems like she's having so much fun and she has such an array of different makeup looks. It's not the same thing all the time. You're really just watching art being created most of the time when she's doing makeup on herself. It's amazing. Her vlog is also so much fun to watch her and her husband. Um, and so yeah, I love Jamie's channel. I think at the beginning, I was entranced again by her accent. It might take some time if you're from America to pick up on her really, really deep Scottish accent, but absolutely worth it in the end. Patricia Bright. I feel like similar vibes here. She is in the beauty space in the UK, but she is doing so much with her platform that I just love seeing what she's up to next. Not only is she extremely positive and real when it comes to fashion and beauty and all that kind of stuff, she's so much fun to watch. It seems like she's having a party whenever she's filming a video. You feel like you're having such a good time. But she's also communicating a lot in the finance and business space now on the break platform. So I feel like 
like anywhere I watch her, I'm inspired and I'm uplifted, whether it's from a standpoint of being a woman and trying to look and feel my best, or if I am a woman that's building my financial portfolio and I'm trying to learn from somebody who's really diving into this area and teaching it. Her smile's just infectious. You just love watching when she's on camera and I highly recommend her channel. P.S. Super excited. Patricia Bright is going to be on the podcast very, very soon in our next season. So make sure that you stay tuned for that episode. I cannot wait to sit down with her. I'm talking to her in a couple of weeks. It's going to be great. Lavender. What is there not to say about this channel? This woman is so inspirational and so aspirational in a lot of ways. Her content is extremely motivating and she is a light in everything that she shares. She's not just inspo and productivity, although she does touch on those things. She's very much cut from the cloth of the law of attraction. And I really like the way that she explains it and the way that she shares it with her community and the way that she gives advice in terms of how to think about your best self and stepping into that person to make it come to fruition. I know that she's walking the walk in her life and the way that she talks about it on camera. It just, you can't help but walk away feeling lighter and happier when you watch Lavender. Make sure you check out everyone that I mentioned today. I will link to all of the channels that I mentioned in the description below. And I'll also include a video that I recommend my favorite from their channel, or at least one of my favorites from their channel so that you can check out where my head's at, why I find them to be so inspirational for you, and potentially that positive light that you need in a crazy time like this. I would love to hear your recommendations. What YouTube channels make you feel more positive, make you feel inspired, motivated? Please share those in the comments down below. We cannot get enough of these people people and I think we need to share as much of the positive love as possible on this platform because it can be a lot of different things depending on what rabbit hole you've been going down. So let's share some of the positive spaces with each other. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers. I got a squeaky chair. It's always squeaking. Yes, I did get a haircut. I wore a mask, I went in, I got the color, I got the cut, and clearly got it styled, which is why I'm sitting down right now to make a video. <laughs> it's called hairstyle mileage. What do we think?